Hey everyone, so I decided to actually uh, keep my sea edge up just so I could show you the templating with the sea edges. So this should be a fairly quick video. But what I'm going to do is I don't actually have any feature templates or device templates at all. So we're going to create a couple feature templates and add it to our V edge. So what we're going to do. I mean, our C edge, excuse me, is we need to go to CSR 1000V, uh, which I totally missed. Here we go. The first one we need to do is the system template. Now, I'm just going to call it CSR system. And We're going to leave all this stuff as default as for our system ID, system IP, um, overlay. I'll set the time zone. Um, which is going to be in here. New York. There we go. Okay. Host name I'll also leave as default. And then the baud rate, I'll leave that as the default. Uh, nothing else in here we really want to. We really need to take a look at so i'll save that now i need to make two templates for vpns so this is going to be my csr vpn zero template remember this is our transport so it's VPN zero, we'll call it transport. Uh, I can spell it, there we go. Um, the one thing we will need to do is set an IP route though. So the prefix is gonna be zero, zero, zero slash zero. We're gonna add a next hop. Um, I'm gonna do a device specific next hop. So what I'll do is I'll say it's VPN zero next hop IP address. And this will make sense in a moment why I'm doing that. And there, I have to make sure to click add on the right. So now we can see it's added. And the last thing we want to do is, uh, I think that's it for now. So that's our VPN zero. But we do under VPN zero have to create an interface. So VPN interface Ethernet. We're going to call it CSR VPN zero interface um, gig one. So we're going to turn off. It's going to be no shut. The interface name. I'm going to set to, it's actually just gigabit ethernet one. Um, the IP address is going to be static. We'll set it to device specific. So I'll put VPN zero uh, underscore G one. So we know it's for gig one. And then we have to turn the tunnel on. So now the tunnel is on. We're, I'm going to set the, the color to Biz Ether Internet because I have this router just connected to my internet. And I know I'm not going through what all this stuff means, but this is kind of meant for a tutorial, not really like a class or a course on, on what everything is and how to do it. I'm just going through the setup process. Um, under Allow Service, we need on, then we got to make sure that netconf is on and SSH is on. And other than that, there should be nothing else in here that we need. So I'll go ahead and save that. So we have our system, a VPN zero and an interface under VPN zero. Now we have to create one, at least one more VPN, but this one's mandatory. So we'll do this.
So VPN 512 is the management VPN. So we're gonna put the numbers 512. We're gonna call it management. And I think under here, that's really all we need to do because we don't really care about any routes. Yeah, so, okay. So 512 is easy. But now we need to add an interface for 512. So CSR, VPN 512, Internet. And here it's Ethernet 0. Um, actually, on the CSR, is that correct? Let me console into the CSR just to double check. Um, I don't believe it is, and I don't remember what we set it as. Show VPN 512, uh, sorry, VRF 512. We don't have one. So, <sighs> I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burn gig four. Um, so we'll call it gig four. So again, we have to have this in no shot. Global, I'm just gonna call it gigabit. Four. We'll set it to a dynamic, and that is it. We don't need to have a tunnel set up or anything like that. So this is honestly the bare minimum that we need for a C edge. Um, so instead of doing anything more fancy, all I'm going to do is create a device template from the feature template, CSR1000V, CSR one i'll call it and here we add in all the feature templates so we created a csr we can leave all this stuff as default vpn zero we're going to use our vpn zero vpn interface we have gig one that we made and then under 512 we can go here add another one 512 gig four and other than that, we didn't create a service VPN. All right, so we should be ready to go. So now we get to this screen where we have to edit our actual template. I'm sorry, we don't have to edit the template. <laughs> That's my fault. We need to attach the device. So I have CH1, we'll attach the device. And now we edit the device template. <laughs> so here you can see those variables I set before, and you can see why I set them as descriptive as they are. So I can see, oh yeah, this is VPN zero's next stop. This is VPN zero's gig one interface. This is, you know, host name, IP address, etc. So what I'm gonna do is I'm to make sure I have this right. The VPN zero next hop IP address is going to be 101.3.1. The IP address 101.3.2, and it's a slash 24. The host name is going to be C edge one. My system IP address um, is 3.3.3.3. .3 .3 .3. My site ID is three. So this is the cool thing about doing templates is that, you know, when we spin up more CSRs, all we have to do is come in here, attach the device and fill out these one, two, three, four, five items. Um, if we had more things, obviously we would do that, but this is just a basic configuration. So we'll click next. Click here so that it verifies um, your config, this doesn't tell you, obviously it doesn't know your intent, so it doesn't tell you that your numbers are correct, but it will at least tell you that, 
you know, you have a syntax error. So maybe you typed in um, a subnet or forgot to type in a subnet address. Um, but what we'll do is we'll just take a look and verify. Okay, yep, this is the CSR system IP. You know, we might want to come in and take a look. Gig four is going to be under the management. That's what we wanted. Um, you know, gig one is going to be our tunnel interface here. And where was, oh, gig one is up here, sorry. This is what I like to check too, my WAN interface. Did I mess up my WAN interface? Because if I mess this up, it'll push the config down and then I'll lose control of the box. Um, it will revert after six minutes, but if you're doing this in production, that's gonna be a long six minutes. So let's configure the devices. And now it's gonna push my configuration. So it shows in progress, generating template, checking device and vManage. And if we actually look at our device, we can see we already have some user vManage admin authenticated successfully from 1.1.1, authorized for NetConf over SSH, and it's gonna be pushing. So I'll go ahead and pause the video, wait till this is done. So I paused the video, then accidentally um, <laughs> let vManage time out and we missed seeing our success screen, but that's okay because I just wanted to show you that if we come in here now and we look at our C edge, we can now see that the mode is vManage instead of CLI. Um, so actually the device says sync pending. The device is offline. That's interesting. So let's go check on my the edge or C edge. Unable to find VRF zero. What happened? Interesting. So it looks like the template didn't actually push. Let's, let me show IP interface brief. Um, did I, that's interesting. Now this C edge has been giving me problems because I could swore and I configure that. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and config transaction. Um, actually, you know what, do ping, maybe it's just Maybe it lost the default route. We'll check the routing table. Our V edge videos are gonna be a lot nicer than this. I can promise you that. Show IP route. Yeah, it should be able to ping it. Okay, it can. So I don't know why it's saying the device is offline. Um, Oh, they're all up. So I think this C edge has just been buggy. Um, I'll try to push the template again. Just change device values. We'll go next. We'll verify and we'll push it again. Um, and after this video, I seriously am going to delete this from the topology and just run three V edges. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys what the templates look like. It's always rough when it doesn't when it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. 
All right, so we're checking creating device in the vManage. And if I go, I can see that vManage is, you know, authenticated successfully from the vManage, authorized for netconf over SSH. You know, that's great. That's exactly what we wanted. The device is online. Updating device configuration in vManage. Pushing configuration to device. And it keeps showing that it's successful. I don't think these CSRs like, um, like being run in GNS3. But again, I'll pause it one last time. All right, so this time we actually did get a success, as you can see here. Um, monitor the network. Our C edge is devices. It's in here, it's in vManage mode. This is gonna be the last video I do with the C edges um, in GNS3. Um, honestly, I don't think it's that big of a loss that you can't really do it well um, as software behaves very differently than hardware anyway. But in the next video, I'll go ahead and create some templates with the VH clouds and we'll actually make them a little bit more interesting by adding a service side VPN.